good afternoon from Disney Springs. During the fall season, there are food and wine festivals and food events all over the place. Mm -hmm. And this year, Disney Springs is having an inaugural food festival. We, we stumbled upon this the day that we were looking for the pumpkin spice stuff. Yeah. So I'll put a link up to that video if you want to check that out. But while we were like researching the pumpkin spice, we found this food festival that it's a secret, I think. Yeah, I don't think very many people know. It's the first time they're doing it. And basically it's just like a little booklet that you can get. We have ours on our phone. It was on the website. And different places throughout Disney Springs have special fall food. Well, and some of them are sample sizes and some of them are full portions. Yeah. So I think we're gonna really focus on the sample size things, but who knows? Like, yeah. We might just eat some full size things too. And there should be like a little booklet with everything in it somewhere. If we're gonna we, see if we can find it. Yeah, if we can find one, we'll definitely show it to you guys. But I don't, I, I like using the digital copy. Yeah. So we'll have that on the screen as well. Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, I like this. There's like a fall display for you to take your picture at here at Disney Springs. Our first stop is BB Wolf's Sausage Company. This is called Sorry. The Wonderfall at Disney Springs and we're getting the Polish smoked sausage. I did want to show you guys the full menu, which this is a specialty item that is not on the full menu, but. Wait, here's my favorite thing. Havana style corn. Oh. <laughs> also, they have a vegetarian one. Oh yeah. Is it not? There's not actually a sausage in there, right? Um, I don't think so. I don't think there is. Wow. There is our first menu item in the Wonderfall Food Festival. This looks actually really good. That is a lot of beer cheese on there. Underneath there somewhere is a Polish sausage. There's so much stuff on top we can't even see it. That's really good. That beer cheese is delicious. And the sausage is great too. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be so messy. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that cheese oozing out. Oh man. The guy at the stand was like, the, the napkins are around the corner when he handed this to me. Like he knew that you were gonna need a napkin. I don't know if I like whatever the apple is. Oh. There's some kind of apple flavor in there. Huh. The cheese tasted like broccoli and cheddar soup to me. Oh. But that's good, I like that. I don't know if it's supposed to taste like that, but it was a good flavor. Um, I feel like I have stuff all over my face. Oh, you don't? Okay, good. I liked everything except for that apple flavor. Weird, I didn't get an apple flavor. So I pulled up the menu, which you guys have already been looking at and seen, but yes, it is apple braised red cabbage. That's what it was. I didn't get any of the cabbage in that bite, but now that I've had some of the red cabbage, very much tastes like apple. So one of the places that has a food item is Aristo Crepes, but I have never been here when this place is open. I don't understand what's going on or why it's not open ever. So they were supposed to have a brie cheese and pear crepe with orange blossom honey, which sounded really good, yeah. but they're not open. Yeah, and it has made the volcano angry. <laughs> Did you just call me a volcano? Oh no, are you angry? <laughs> yeah, I want to try that. Oh, came into Goofy's Candy Company to get some waters, but we also wanted to show you guys their fall inspired treats. I love this one. Oh yeah. It's cute. Oh, I like this one. All the Jack Skellington stuff, and like Ghost and Mummy Mickey. Some pumpkins. Oh, some poison apple ones too. Next stop, the Daily Poutine. Gourmet Frites. I said gourmet. <laughs> this is what we got. The Oktoberfest Poutine. Stout gravy, bratwurst, sauerkraut, and curd cheese. Cheese curds. Oh man, this is gonna be a heavy day, isn't it? All kinds of heavy fall flavors, and we are, of course, sweating. <laughs> Dabbing out our here. sweat off. <laughs> um, also, I forgot to tell you guys that I have on my holiday horn. Oh yeah, what I still do don't know what that means. I just I was straightening my hair, and I pulled up the top of my hair while I was straightening it, and I was like, oh, I kind of like that. I'm just gonna leave it. Yeah. So it's my holiday horn. I like it. All right, give it a try. There's so many things in there for you to like. Is this sauerkraut, cheese curds, gravy, and fries? And bratwurst. Oh, the bratwurst, that's what it was. I'm not gonna lie, the bratwurst looks weird. It does look a little gray. Okay, I'm not gonna eat that part. Okay. I wonder if the bratwurst would have made it taste better. Oh, it didn't taste good? It has like this weird vinegary flavor because of the sauerkraut. Oh. So maybe the bratwurst is supposed to like compliment that. Yeah. I don't, you try it all and tell me. Okay. I think that's everything. 
There's kind of too many flavors here, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get them all. It's not bad. It's just kind of like a amalgamation of like fall flavors in your mouth. Like it's warm, it's hearty, it's meaty, it's uh, vinegary, it's cheesy. It's <laughs> you got a little something on your. Oh, it's gone. You're good. Well, that's like that's the way that I describe food is with food hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I don't know that I would eat this again. I think what like, it is is that the everything is bratwursty so far, and I would like to try something that has no bratwurst in it, which think, is the next thing. Oh yeah. Because if the next thing had bratwurst in it, that'd be weird. <laughs> so although it's not part of the Wonder Fall Food Festival, the world of Disney is open fully now. So let's we're go check do, it out. Well, we're going to do an, an entire video on this. So that'll be coming up soon. But the video today, I just wanted, I saw the spirit jersey and I've never really been a fan of them until I saw this one spirit jersey and I have to buy it. So that's what we're going to do. So there's this new holiday print that has these little things all over it. Uh, where is it? Oh, look at that. Those these are, fun. are so cute. I love them. Yeah. But I'm here for one thing. Well, first we gotta find this holiday print with all these little things all over it. It's like new for this season. Well, that's not it. I love this. I don't think it'll fit you though. Oh, it's fun though. Oh. <laughs> Where are the adult sizes? <laughs> it would remind me of Mariah Carey. Right? So here it is. It is on the pajamas, and you can see right here the little bobble that is from It's a Small World Holiday. But it feels like um, legging fabric. Oh, I like super be, thin. I thought it was going to be flannel, but it feels like literally leggings. That would be good for here in Florida. Yeah, I love it. And then there's Jose. And you can see them all right there. Like there they are, hanging from the ceiling. Okay, but we're going to do a full video, not today. Yeah. Today we're looking for a spirit jersey. Let's do it. There it is. This is what you want. So you showed this in the last Hollywood Studios video, I think. It was the cotton candy spirit jersey. Yeah. I was like, I really want to have that. I love it. And I am, they don't have my size. Oh no. So, now I'm sad. Back to the Wonderfall Food Festival. And up next is Amaret's Patisserie. And on the menu, they have a couple of things. But we'll have to see if these things are still on the menu here at Amaret's. Because this place changes their food options often. Oh, look at this one. It's like a Mickey pumpkin. Is that the cake? I don't think so. That's a oh. $60 cake. Oh. <laughs> here is the Fall Harvest Petite Cake. I love how it looks like it has like little like acorns on it and it's fall flavors and fall colors and everything. And then they also have an apricot peach cobbler, which looks delicious. I love amarettes. Look at these chocolate chip cookies. I don't even know if I can show them to you. They're just so giant. And then all of these little eclairs and this Mickey Mouse cake. Ooh. Sunset on mile marker zero is like a key lime thing. We had that before and it was delicious. Open up this cake. Oh man, that oh. looks so good. It looks so professional. I mean, it is professional, but it looks like so nice. We're just gonna eat this. Like how silly is that? I know. <laughs> like, so this is the fall harvest petite cake with cinnamon, nutmeg, chiffon cake, layered with salted caramel mousse, cranberry, cherry, pate, de fruit, and roasted hazelnut. I feel like of all the stuff that we've gotten today, I'm gonna film this thing the most because it's so beautiful. Well, okay, so the bottom is a ribbon. Do we take this off before yeah. we cut it? Take the ribbon off. So not edible ribbon. <laughs> <laughs> It's too pretty. You don't know what to do with it. No, I really don't know how to cut it because it's like fondant. Oh. It's like hard. That's weird. Okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. There's a cross section for you. That looks so good. Wow. <laughs> Jinx, you owe me a petite cake. Oh, and there you go. <laughs> okay, here we go. That is a delicious cake. Really? Wow. Some of the ingredients I wasn't too big on, but yeah, together usually, they work. Yeah, usually I don't like fondant. This is good. It's so, like, moist and, like, it's not overly sweet. I mean, you do get the cinnamon, you get the nutmeg, you get the fruit, like the strawberry in it. I expected it to kind of be, like, dry because there's so much cake in there, but it's not. Just, you got to try this. This is good. Oh, you're getting that whole piece? Well, I just want them to see, like, you can see the fruit layer, you can see the hazelnuts, the, I'm guessing that's the cinnamon and stuff. You like it? The flavors go really well together. Yeah. Mmm. Wow, yeah. So you really can see the jelly, the hazelnut, the cinnamon and nutmeg. I love this. Oh. 
I like how you ate that like a dinosaur. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that this icing underneath the fondant here is buttercream. Oh, I think it definitely is. And that makes it so good. I love this. And like, what's in here? I think those are just chocolate. I'm gonna try it. Oh no, you're eating gold. Did you not like it? It tasted like a really fancy Tootsie Roll pop. Oh, that's weird. Like not good chocolate, you know, like wax. That's huh. colored brown. <laughs> that's that's strange. Like. But the rest huh. of it, two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Don't run away. It's only me. Oh yeah, it's a lot weirder than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> like it? I know that you said it was gonna be weird, but like. Doesn't it taste like a fancy Tootsie Roll pop? It doesn't have a chocolate flavor. Why doesn't it no. have a chocolate flavor? No, I don't know. It's a trick. It is a trick. Why? But the rest of this ding dang cake is so good. I think that that's just like brown fondant. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that. But literally, the rest of this together, yum. I have to say it was sixteen dollars. I was just gonna say. <laughs> yeah. But I think for like a special occasion, like doing this fall food food fest trail, <laughs> I think this is the perfect occasion to get this cake. <laughs> Mid food festival uh, breakdown. What's your favorite so far? I think that cake. Yeah? I think so, yeah. I think so too. We got a couple more things to try, so I'm keeping my hopes high. The next thing is a burger though, so I do love burgers. Well, the next thing is not a burger. Oh. It's seafood, so you're not gonna like it. Oh. <laughs> and then the burger. We're gonna end on the burger because I know you'll like that. Okay. Let's do it. Next stop is the boathouse for some half shell oysters. So this one's interesting. He actually told us that they have this on special for a half dozen or a dozen, or you could just order them by the uh, half shell. I don't know, I'm interested. I've never had oysters and I'm not gonna eat any, <laughs> but it kind of says what it is. Medium size, crisp brine, clean finish with a buttery texture. Ooh, okay. All right, so there they are. There's your oysters. Wow. This is all gonna be Jen. Thank you so much. I'm not gonna have any. So, okay, they normally serve it with the cocktail sauce and a little bit of horseradish, but because we're doing the, the Wonder Fall Food Festival, this is the green apple mignonette sauce. Mm. He called it a mignonette. Is that what it is? I don't know, but that's what he said. I'm very new here, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, but is that a little piece of ice in there? Should you get that out? I don't know. I'm really nervous. Oh no, I, be I believe in you. Is it? Yeah, it is it's a little ice, piece yeah. of ice. Okay. But what's that? That's it. That's the oyster. Why does it look like that? That's how they look. Wow. Where's its head? I don't think they have heads. Um, I think they'd be really offended hearing you say that. Well, Where are I mean, their ears? Well, they can't hear me say it. They don't have ears. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so wait, there, I don't have like a... You're just going to try some of this right now, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. That's good? That tastes like um, what's in a pickle. Oh, that's you good. You like the stuff that's in the pickle juice? Yeah. It tastes like that. But so, a little bit um, vinegary and a teeny bit of uh, apple. So what they showed in the picture was you just take this and then like dump it in there. But like how much? That much? No, I mean like you pick the whole thing up so you get some, some water in there too. Is that what you do? Yeah. I like how you think you know how to eat an oyster. There you go, yeah, like that. <laughs> do I use the lemon? You can, yeah. Okay. And um, then you, you pick it up and you... <sighs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I believe in you. <laughs> okay. What, is it's it like gonna come off? Like down the hatch. Head? No, it's not. Okay. It's like that, taking a shot. You know that vine of the kid that's drinking vodka? Oh yeah. That's what I feel like. Okay. Mm. Is it good? I like that. Oh. Wow. I'm a clean shell member, thank you. Oh, I like that. Yeah, wow. So that was good. That was good. Ooh. I can't I can't tell you what the flavor was. It tasted a lot like the min the sauce. And a teeny bit of salt water. Oh. Are are oysters in salt water or fresh water? I think there's salt water. Okay. So not really is, sure though. This one's a big one. Oh yeah, it's a big boy. <laughs> you didn't put any lime on the other one. Am I supposed to? You asked if you wanted to and I said, yeah, sure. Oh, okay, I'll do it. Oh no, I gotta feed it. Oh, there it is. It's perfect. Last one. Did you like it? I did. Would did you, like would you order it again? I think I would order it again, except for I would try it with the, the other sauce. And maybe oh, yeah. a little Tabasco. Ooh. Yeah. Well, nice job for being adventurous. Thanks. I didn't have any. <laughs> I'm not that adventurous. We're going to get your thing next. Okay. We just noticed that you can tell 
where the oysters came from. So these that we just, or that Jen just ate, were from Duxbury Bay in Massachusetts. Wow. I'm gonna become an oyster connoisseur. Oh, so is that your new favorite thing? Well, I definitely, I feel like I do like oysters. Yeah? I didn't, I had had them like as a younger person and I liked them then, but I don't know, you know how you just, they're kind of weird? Yeah. So I was like, I don't know if I like them still. I so, like, they're good. So I know that we said we were gonna get the burger after this, but I think we're gonna make one quick side stop first okay. over at the Polite Pig. The issue with Polite Pig is we went when it first opened, and it wasn't the best food we've ever had. A lot of people really like it though. Yeah. And I feel like they just haven't had good barbecue. I could be wrong, I, I'm, I might be shading a lot of people and I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna try this and we'll see if it's better this time around. But we're also trying like a seasonal thing, so it might not be good. Yeah, it might be you totally I mean? the wrong thing to order right now. <laughs> so we're just, this is a big risk. So here we go, we are headed into the Polite Pig. And we're gonna get some tacos. There's our dish that we're getting, the Fall Harvest Pork Belly Taco. It's got papitas. I'm just happy that there's no bratwurst on it. <laughs> we found the book here at the Polite Pig. So Ooh, this is, oh yeah. I thought that was a candle. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, here's all the different locations that it is. And then here's all the different menu items that are special for the Wonder Fall Food Festival. And this is where we are now. Yeah, and I guess it's not called the food festival. This is like a food trail. That's what Disney Springs is all about is trails. So they got the tree trail during Christmas and the wonderful flavors trail here during the fall. Ooh, yeah, look at this little pork belly taco. This looks amazing. What's, uh, is that the pork belly? Yeah, I think so. What's the potato or is that pork belly? I think one of them's potato and somewhere else is pork belly. Well, let me look at the menu. Yeah. Apple cranberry glazed smoked pork belly, popcorn tortilla, pumpkin and apple slaw, and pepitas and pickled onions, so there's no potato. Oh, so this is, is the pork belly. I think it's like a fatty part. Wow. Yum. This is gonna be hard. Oh yeah, it's gonna be a mess. How do I do this without ruining your bite? Oh no, don't worry about me. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. So much drippage came out the back end of that thing. Okay, I barely bit into this and I got such a huge bite. This thing is loaded with toppings. Like, holy cow, look at that teeny tiny bite I took. It was so much food. Um, I will say that I think this would be a lot better to me if it didn't have the glaze. The oh, cinnamon okay. apple glaze thing. I didn't like that. The rest of it is really good. Oh. Like, I think the glaze was a little bit too sweet for me. But the rest of it is really good together. The glaze was apple cranberry, not cinnamon. Sorry, I got that wrong. Okay, here we go. Kind of weird, right? I'm with you on this apple thing. It's just like a little bit too sweet. Yeah. That would be much better without the apple glaze. Mm. It, it kind of sticks in your mouth too. Yeah, that's what I was, I still taste it. But it's still a nice taco. Yeah. Oh, there's like a smoky flavor at the very end from the pork belly. Like after some of the sweetness has subsided. And the pork belly is really good. Mm -hmm. Like delicious. Good. And they're playing Jimi Hendrix too. So <laughs> can't go wrong. We finished it all, but it is, there's all the rest of the sauce, like from the slaw. So I will say that you'll need a lot of napkins after this one. And they have them all on the table, so it's a okay. <laughs> yeah, but that was pretty good. And the time has come for my burger. Oh, no, Last you're stop. It. Well, I mean, it's called Deluxe Burgers. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, but last time we were here, and I'll put that video up in the corner, we had this really delicious pumpkin pie milkshake. It yeah. was so, I still think about it. It was so good. You dream about it. I'm so full, I can't order it, but next time. Hmm? I'm gonna order two. This is the Apple Whiskey Jam and Smoked Sausage Burger. Oh, I thought that was bacon. That sausage is like super thinly sliced sausage. I thought it was pork belly. Oh. But this whole thing looks really interesting. Finally, a hamburger. Here we go. <laughs> That's pretty good. So the onions are kind of sweet and it gives it a really interesting flavor with the smoked gouda, the sausage, and the hamburger. But then you get like this little sweet tingle at the top from the onion. And the meat has a very distinct flavor to it and the smoked gouda. But it's kind of weird because they're like playing with each other, the smoked flavor and the sweet flavor of the onions. This is on two different spots on your tongue. I don't know, I like it. Okay. Big bite. Whoa. 
Uh, oh, you don't like it? There's something know. weird in there. It's the onions. It's sweet, right? I think there's apple in there. Maybe. It didn't say it's whiskey, like a whiskey jam. I'll say this. They asked us if we wanted it cooked to medium. Yeah, that's not. That's that's just well done. Yeah. So the burger is like a little bit dry. Um, I don't like whatever that apple thing is, but the rest of it is really good. See, that's I do the, like the other flavors. That's the sweet that I was telling you about. I don't hate it. Is it's it? Not, it's not my favorite. Is it like apple whiskey jam? Let me read it one more time. Oh, God, apple. oh yeah, apple whiskey jam. That's literally what it says, the first words. I think I don't like the apple, but everything else, really good. So is this your favorite thing so far? No. No? I think the cake is still my favorite thing. Is it? The yeah, cake that was, was really so good. good. <laughs> and that taco was really good too. I, I, I think I like my top three. I like the cake better than the taco. Yes. And I think I like this burger better than the taco. Mm, I'm with you on that one. I think this is number two. I think taco is number three. Yeah. And then most like the, the worst. The worst was... I think poutine was the worst for me. I didn't like the poutine, yeah. No. <laughs> Which is weird because poutine's good. But I just I think like poutine. this poutine had like the sauerkraut and stuff. It was such a strange flavor. So while Tim is catching a, a wild stunky... Community day! <laughs> Going on, He's doing style. Pokemon Go while we've been doing the video. But here's what we have left of the burger. So you know that Tim liked it because he ate almost everything. And I'm pretty full. Yeah, we ate a lot of food today. So there you have it. That was our trip to Disney Springs to experience the Wonder Fall Food Trail. And I feel like it's kind of, nobody really has said anything about it. Yeah. So come and do it. Yeah, it's, and it's here. We only showed you guys a small, small portion of what is available to eat. Well, and some of the things that we ate during our pumpkin spice day were also on this trail. Check that one out too if you like. Yeah, but all in all, most of the things that we had were delicious. Some things were kind of like, uh. I think what it was is some things had like one item that I was like, I don't know. But for the most part, the rest of it was good. Yeah, So it was like that one fall thing. They're yeah, like, the put apple. apples in it. <laughs> Um, but it was really a fun thing to try, and yeah. I don't think I would have tried any of those things if they weren't on this list. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know, I feel like we had a successful day of eating. I will tell you, we spent kind of a lot of money today. Did we? Yeah. I don't know how much we spent. So. I don't know. We will find out, and we will total it up, and leave it in the description down below so you guys know exactly. Well, I'll put it on the screen right now. Whoa, that was a lot of money! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> no, um, but yeah, a good time. Lots of food, very yeah, full. Very full. But with that being said, we are off and we will see you guys tomorrow. And, and now, now it's time, time to, to pay, pay the, the price. price.